welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here my name is esther Moffrey. in today's video i want to talk about how do you trade your order blocks how do you enter the market and trade this order block remember i have done a video on what is order block kindly if you have not watched that video you will be it will be very hard for you to follow this video so i'll highly suggest you click the link go out on what is order block then come back and now watch how do you trade order block so guys um you remember from the video that i was speaking about order block and what is on out order block i was saying is accumulation of a price either in a bullish market or a bearish market and accumulation is where the market ha was going on an uptrend like this accumulation we mean the market was going on an uptrend but all of a sudden it is creating equals lows and equals high this is what we call accumulation and the market can be on either side it can be an upward trend accumulation or downward trend accumulation so most of the blocks are found on where this accumulation because remember who uh, uh who um is uh the big beneficial of this accumulation in order blocks they are the banks they are the financial institutes so the accumulation here and here that's where we start finding our order blocks so that being said Today I want us to talk about um, one type of an order block that I find it is very, very easy. It's called break of structure order block. Break of structure order block. So if you have never had a break of structure order block, I, I believe you know about a break of structure. And it's very simple because I'll be showing you. And I think with this information, you'll be able to start trading order blocks and you'll be able to understand when to enter. You'll be able to understand where to take your profits and you'll be able to maximize every profit in the market. So this break of structure, uh, this break of structure, order block this is how it looks like let me now i uh, show you very quickly so that we can go to live examples so we know a, a market structure how it forms it forms high highs and high lows high highs and high lows high highs and high lows high highs so when we say the break of structure all these lows all these highs they are being broken that is the break of structure so that you can create new highs so the previous highs they are getting broken and we are creating new highs so the market break uh, the structure it goes to retest come back break again retest break retest so if if you want to get involved in this in this market of course everyone will be identifying this discounted price you want to enter the market if it has complete the retest so that you'll be given with the best price and the and the the downside it's still the same low lows low highs low lows low highs low lows low highs low lows and everyone the break of structure is every time the market is breaking this low so it's nothing uh, complicated it's what you have been learning but now you will learn in a more deeper way so these laws are getting broken so if you want to get involved in this market of course we want discounted price which is the finishing of this retest so everyone who is getting involved it you would rather get in involved in a place that is discounted rather than getting just anywhere in the market and now I want to show you now break of structure order block. Now, what do I mean? This is what I mean. You have the market. It is making high lows, high highs, high lows, high highs. So by the time it is making these high highs and it has broken the structure, instead of getting anywhere, you'll come and check your block around this place you'll come and mark your block here the leg that broke that structure the leg that broke this structure so this leg the the last bearish candle because the market was going down the last bearish candle is what you uh you mark it 
as your block. So the market may not come directly to your order block to activate your trade. The market may do something like this, but later on you can see the market tapping to that zone and finally going to the upward side. So you need to understand that leg that broke the structure, that's where we are finding our block. The other thing is on the downward trend. The market may make fast low, high, 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 low, uh, low, high. Then it breaks, the market may break this low. And then now, where do we get our order block? Because remember, the structure has been broken. I mean, I've told you, this is break of structure order block. We have broken that uh, leg. So that, uh, the, the last bullish candle the last bullish candle is where we mark our block so the market may come directly to that block or may do something like this may come retest there and do like that and eventually come tap to the zone and go down very very fast so this is how you identify order block break of structure order block so guys if you have not understood i think you should rewind this video and really understand what you have said that leg that broke you see that leg that broke our 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 our, our support if the market is down downtrain that leg that broke our support the last bullish candle is where we are marking our order block and here that leg that broke our resistance this leg that broke our resistance, that leg, the, the last bearish candle is where we are marking our order block. So guys, that being said, that being said, all we can do now is go to our chart and try to do it with live examples. And I've told you, order blocks mostly you can find them in accumulation and you can see here the market was accumulating it is it is consolidating in one place. So I will mark our lowest where we want uh, the market um, to break so that we can identify that this is finally, the market is finally going down. So you can see that the market, this, this support is not getting broken. And you can see one attempt, second attempt. You can see those two attempts of that support trying to break. And what happens, many people will enter by thinking that this is this it's kind of a rejection to support and because you are taught that buy at support and sell at resistance so if that's the only information you have what will you do many people will come and buy because they think there's weak rejection there's the there's the big uh, momentum that has been rejected and they will put their buy orders mm -hmm. what i'm teaching you today is to have patience observe what is happening in the market and try to see if my zone is broken and I've told you if any zone is broken and support is broken all you need now is to identify the block so that you can be able to know where to enter so let's now um, see what really happened if the the support is broken or if resistance is broken because again Remember, the market can push up, break this sub resistance and continue going up. All we need to avoid is to be left out. Anything that is happening inside the zone, I call it a box. Do not pay attention because you cannot decide what to do if the market is in accumulation. So let's see if the market broke that line. So you can see the market has broken our support after a very long time waiting for all these many hours because every candle here represents four hours. Finally, we have um, a candle that has broken that support. So many people will do what? Many people will enter sell. They will enter sell immediately, which is not bad, but as uh, we want to be given with a, a discounted price. We want a price that we can maximize our profit. So which leg broke this support? This is the leg, guys. So this is the leg. Let me show you. This is the leg that broke support. So all of this is the leg. And what I've said, if you want your order block to, to, to identify your order block, uh, the last bullish candle, because this is market has broken on the support. So we are looking the last bullish candle. That's where you will put a box to create a block. So that small doge, it's like a doge. I don't know what type of a candle it's there that becomes our 
block so that's how you trade order blocks so that's become our block and I even I can write here for you not to forget this is a this is our order block so I can write there that's our order block and all we are trying to wait is the market to tap to this zone we can even put sell limit here and we will be having a very discounted price so when we go to one hour i want to see if i can re refine this order block because again don't be ignorant on your order blocks to remain on four hour you can go to one hour and find something slightly it has changed and it will give an, it will give you even more results and i will be doing another video on how to refine so if you don't get this video you, you don't get on this video on how to refine don't worry i'll show you on another video so if we go to one hour you can see our order block uh the last green candle you can see we need to redefine that so we are refining that order block and still we'll go to 15 minutes to do more refining. Why? Because we don't want to miss this chance. We do not want to miss this chance. So if I go to still to 15 minutes, this is what I'm telling you guys. You can see there's a presence of a green candle before this big move. And this is what we want. And you can see this big move has broken structure. So this big candle on 15 minutes something is different and if you don't get it on this video i'll do another video on 15 minutes you can see the big momentum candle that has broken the structure this is the leg and on that there's like a small green candle so that is our mini our mini what our mini block so this is our mini block and I can write it there. So we have two blocks. We have a block on four hour and a redefined one. And let me give you the redefined one. And I'll tell you what is the difference in pips. So the difference is that you can put your cell limit. And because even if it is one pip difference, it will not activate your order. So let me give you the difference between the pips. So the pips are 36 pips. The difference between the first block to the second block. And guys, this one can make you miss the opportunity because if you put your sell limit above the first blo order block and the market comes and react to this order block that we have, we have refined with 15 minutes, you can miss your trade. So let's go back to 4 hour. And now we have identified this is where we are putting our sell limit you can see on four hours there is nothing that you are seeing you cannot see anything now if we enter this cell and our trade is activated where do you think the market will take its profits so we think that the market will take the profit at this low but this low it has so many noise and we need to redefine we need to redefine not to redefine we need to refine our block so this is the last you can see that is the last bearish candle for the market to move up we still need to redefine this because we don't want the market to miss our tp so if i go to one hour let me see if i can refine remember we have not entered because all these are limit orders let's see if we can um we can we can see here there's a lot of uh there's a lot of noise there's uh, so much noise going on so let me go to 15 minutes to see what is happening all i need is to my my tp not not to be missed out so i need to refine the um i need to refine the take profit and i need to use 15 minutes to refine it so this is how we do it this is how we do it so guys you can see <coughs> You can see the market structure was broken around here. The market structure was broken around here. You can see this the, on 15 minutes. You can see the market has been bouncing off, bouncing off, bouncing off. And you can see the market structure uh, uh, attempting, uh, not attempting, it broke. So why, where do we put now this, this uh, block using 15 minutes? Let me zoom it. The last leg for the market to break. This last leg. I'll come and put, you see this small red candle, that's where I will put my, my, 
my block. So I have redefined this. So my take profit, I have brought it at least on, on a place where I know the market can, uh, it can get activated. So I know my take profit, let's see where now my take profit is. You can see instead of having your take profit all the way here, from that low, my take profit is on this zone and I'm good to go. So if my order is activated, I hope guys this one, uh, you have to repeat this video for you to understand. If my order is activated, that's where we are taking our profit. So this is our TP and I will write it down. So this being our TP, TP1. So that's our TP. If the order is gets uh, activated, and then we have sell limit. We have our sell limit because we are not getting involved in this market unless the market activates our order. So you have your sell limit there in place. You have identified your block. You have known everything to be considered in this chart and you have your already, if it does not activate your order, don't worry, there is more opportunity. So when that is done, let's now play at uh, the playback to see what really happens so we want to play uh the 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 chart and maybe we can do it with 15 minutes so that you can see if the order block will get tapped so this is our order block and remember we got it with 15 minutes so let's play it so we are playing the playback to see what really happened. You can see the market reacted and it started to come. We want to see if the market will come to our zone. It failed to touch the first time. You can see very clearly the market has not tapped to our, to our zone. So we are not afraid because already you have put your sell limit. You just leave your trade like that. You know, the, the best thing with order blocks, you just put sell limit and maybe if you want to observe the market and know when to enter so yeah the market it's let me increase i hope i won't increase a lot so the market again it's coming up maybe this time it will tap to our zone so yes it has tapped you can see guys immediately immediately the market tapped to that zone immediately it tapped to that zone what happened this big momentum because this was an actual order block so let's see if the market really took our tp if we were trading this market so you can see immediately the market tapped our tp that was a winning trade and this is how you enter if you had done if you had entered this trade the stop loss would have been how many pips 23 pips you would be risking 23 pips to gain how many pips? 223 pips. Guys, order blocks, I've been trading order blocks without knowing they are called order blocks. Now, because I know this thing is called order blocks, I'll really uh, preach this in this channel because why would you not want to risk 23 pips to gain 223 pips? So guys, the market came to our our targeted order block, the one that we were targeting to take our profit very smoothly and we gain that profit. So guys, this is it. If I go to 4 hour and see really what really happened, you can see how that order block was tapped. The first order block was not tapped and many people, for me, I was losing in the market the many chances to not to get in because I was not refi refining my order blocks. I was not refining my order blocks. But now because I know how even to refine my order blocks, I am not losing in the opportunity. So guys, how many people would have gotten this if they were not having a sell limit? Let me tell you, they're not, not many. So guys, I had another example, but because the video has taken so much time to really explain, I think this will take home. Practice on order blocks. If you don't understand, I think you need to watch this video not once, not twice, but as many times as often. And what I'll do to the next video, I will now teach you how to refine. The concentration will be refining on those order blocks. How do you refine? 
when you go to one hour to 30 minutes to five even to five minutes there is refining even to five minutes to get a very very accurate entry and i think on my next video i'll be doing how to get those sniper entries where you get stop loss of five pips of stop loss of even three pips and then the profits gain are massive so guys thank you so much for watching until next time bye bye